it. I can't believe this. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I hate doing stuff like this. Ah. You feel fine. Oh, what? Well, when we get to China, let me know. I'd go that far further if I could get my hands on... Ooh, what's this? What, a way out? No, it looks like a way in. Looks like somebody broke through the wall of the... That's probably how he got out. How will hold that out? Uh, forget it. I have to go through there. No! No, you don't. I want to know how come you know so much about this place. See, there isn't time to explain it to you now, okay? Well, you're going to have to make time, all right? If we fall through a hole, we get stuck down here, and you seem perfectly at home. I want to know why. Tina, I promise you, when we find what I am looking for, I will tell you everything. No, tell me now. You owe me that much. You're right. I'm sorry, Tina. And I promise you, I will tell you everything once we get to our destination. Well, where is that? The center of the Earth? No, I don't think we're going to have to go that far. But first things first, we need to find what is, is at the end of this tunnel. place if you like mausoleums. Is that all you can say? All right. All right, it looks like something out of somebody's nightmare. Some dusty old nightmare. Oh, you look, but you don't see. It's right here under your nose. But you don't even know what it means. Well, why don't you tell me what it is? It's all true, just like he said. Tina, usually libraries have back issues of magazines. Yeah, well, then how come they all say 1951? I mean, didn't anybody have any desire to read anything from, you know, get a magazine, a newspaper from 1952? No, I guess they didn't. What are you smiling about? People did live here then, didn't they? But I don't, I don't understand how that could be. I mean, this is my father's mountain. I mean, surely at least Vicky must have known about it then. Who's to say she didn't? Her dream. My God, you're saying that then this wasn't a dream. And that means that she knew about this place, and maybe she was even here. Tina, you asked too many questions. And you don't give me enough answers. Look, look why don't you just tell me why we're here, okay? What is you're looking for. I'll help you find it, because then maybe we can get the hell out of here. Is this it? What? Where? What the? This is this door. Oh, my God. Is this, is this what you're looking for? Tina, you may have found it. I did? Well, don't understand. They helped me open it. What? 
but, but, but open it. I mean, what did I find? Come on, I'll show you. Once we get this vault open, all right? We'll both pull on the count of three. You ready? Okay. All right, okay. One, two, three. Ah! Ah! It scared me to death. What if there's more there? What if that's not the only one? What if there's somebody or something down here waiting to kill anything that comes in here and we're next? would you please, for heaven's sakes, just curb your... Your wonderful imagination. Look, I didn't imagine that skeleton. No, you didn't. He is very real. Oh, gross! How can you touch that thing? Aren't you afraid? No, my fear really pales compared to the thrill I feel. What thrill? Eternal. It's just as Michael said. A lost city. And if the city is here, then the gold must be here, too. But where? Miss Vicky's. Wait a minute here. Come here. What's going on here? And this all has to do with my sister, doesn't it? Let go of me. No, not till you tell me where we are. All right, Tina. But don't blame me if you don't like what you hear. We are standing on the threshold of a vast city. We are in an underground world called Eterna. Look, I don't want any more of your stories, all right? I want the truth here. This is the truth. I'm telling you the truth. This is before you were even born, when Vicky was a very young girl. Your father was part of a group of men who created the city under Lantano Mountain. And the city was called Eterna. And we're standing in one of the, one of the rooms of the city, one of the many rooms, no doubt. An underground city in a mountain? No. I'm sorry, no way. Tina, yes, we're here. We found it. Well, why would he build a place like this? Uh, well, it was, it was a, a, an experiment, an attempt to find utopia. But as such experiments are doomed to fail always, everyone who lived in Eterna was killed. No, not everyone. That's impossible. Tina, I am telling you the absolute truth here. Somebody told you about this place, so that means somebody had to survive. So who is it? Who told you about this place? getting closer closer to home it can't be much farther then i'll find it after all these years i will find the turner and its treasure in a maze, you're wound up in a dead end, which leaves all the cheese to me. Look, there's no reason for secrets now. Who says I am holding back any secrets from you? Look, I know you. I know you didn't come down here for some dusty old magazine. I am telling you, there is a vast city down here. I don't care if there is a shopping mall, all right? You are not an archaeologist, and you came down here for a reason, and it has to do with my sister, and I demand to know what it is. You can demand all you want, but I'm not going to tell you anything else until I find what I am looking for. Look, all we found is Mr. Bones over there, and I'm not going to hang around here until we find out who killed him. Tina, would you please calm down? I am certain there is no more danger here. All we have to do is find our way out of this room and into the center of the city. The only city I want to hear about is land, you all right? That's where I want to be, and I... Look, there's... there's, there's I, I want to find the way out, not the way in here. Tina, what are you doing now? Look, I, there, there's got to be a way out. People got in. There's got to be a way out. So maybe there's an elevator. Tina, would you just calm down, please? And trust me, I promise you our search will make you happier beyond your wildest dreams. Oh, yeah, trust you. Yeah, that is some real good one. Look, I am finding my way out here, with you or without you. Tina, don't. You don't know what's behind that. Well, it can't be worse than what's in here. <sighs> oh, maybe there's a way out. I... Now, would you please come back inside? I don't want to be inside. I don't want to be... Hey, come in. How are you doing? Fine, 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 well, fine. Good. From that smile on your face, I guess Vicky's back from California, huh? Oh, now, am I that easy to read? Oh, uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, how'd it go? Did she get any leads about the whereabouts of her daughter? No, no. Man, I'm real sorry to hear that. She must really be broken up about that, huh? Well, she's finally facing the fact that finding her daughter is almost futile. I mean, it's a one in a million long shot. 
However, she has uh, decided to kind of kick back and concentrate on the kids, you know, and hmm. Jessica and the boys and uh, little CJ. And his horse. His horse? What horse? Why, he says Bay Mary gave birth to this beautiful stud colt. In fact, he even went so far as to make it a gift to CJ for his birthday. How huh. about that? I, I want to go tell Tina. Is she upstairs with Vicky? No. She's not back from New York yet. Yeah, sure she is. She, she called Renee, said she was going to go up to the mountain, check out a few sites, and then come back here. And what's the matter? Well, Court, I just called the ski lodge. I was uh, going to make some reservations for Friday dinner, you know, up at the lodge. Uh -huh. And uh, I was going to take Vicky and the kids up to the cabin for the weekend, but the manager said that the weather conditions are so, are, are so bad and they're just getting worse. Oh, Clint, I don't like that. Tina should have been home hours ago. Yeah, but if the road conditions are as bad as Joe says, it could take Tina twice as long to get back to town. Yeah, either that or she's stranded somewhere up on that mountain. Gabrielle, please, what are you doing? You've got to help me get out of here. All right, calm down. I'm right here. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to have a heart attack or something. I can't stand being penned up like this. I, 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 I can't breathe. Tina, there is plenty of air down here, so just take a deep breath and relax. Relax. You want me to relax? We fall in a hole, and, and then we get then we get lost in this, this, this maze under underground or whatever the hell it is, and, and then I get caught in this this cage. And you want me to relax? I can't. Certainly, we gotta get out. I won't even budge. Look, look, you gotta you gotta help me get out here. Look, look for some kind of a, a button, a, a, a control panel, something to push to open this gate. Do you see it? No, I don't see anything. Well, well look over here on this wall for some kind of button, anything to open this gate. Please, you gotta help me get out of here. Yeah. Well, Gabrielle, we gotta find a way to open this gate. Gabrielle, don't leave me here. Gabrielle! Gabrielle! Come here! You gotta help me out of here! If you had listened to me in the beginning and not gone wandering off by yourself, we wouldn't be in this mess now. Oh, great. You're trying to blame me. Huh? You're the one who wanted to explore. I just wanted to find a way out of here. You are giving me such a headache. Well, then help me out of here. Tina. You know, I have a right mind to leave you in there while I look around. At least then I know you wouldn't get into trouble. Well, you can't, you can't leave me in here. But what if a sword came down and cut me in two or something? Or what, what if there's a monster or something that's just waiting to have me for dinner? Tina, look, there aren't any monsters down here. So pull yourself together and stop behaving like a child. And besides, if there were any of the original inhabitants here and they did hear you, well, there's no telling what they might do to an intruder. After all the years of being down here by themselves, I think they'd be happy to see somebody alive come back down here, unless they're like that skeleton that came out of that vault. Well, there is light and air. I suppose somebody could have survived this place, but I hope not. You, mean you hope not? How could you say something that cruel? Well, well it's just that I, I don't think they would have had a very nice life. That's what I meant by it. I wonder if there's a map somewhere in this library. This... Would you forget about a map and just help me lift this gate up? Come on, Gabrielle. Tina, honestly, I don't think there's anything I can do to help you. Or maybe you just don't want to try, is that it? Maybe Cord was right all along. You aren't my friend, are you? Maybe you never even were. What is it about this place? Who, who, who told you about here? It doesn't really matter now. Oh, yes, it does. I want to know exactly what is so important here that you're willing to risk your life and mine to find it. Tina, I'm just interested to see how these people live down here. Doesn't this whole place just fascinate you? No! No, it doesn't fascinate... I know what it is. Of course, there's money down here, isn't there? Probably a whole lot of it, because it's the only thing that seems to matter to you anymore. So I guess my father and these men, they hid a lot of money in here, and somehow you found out about it. Is that it? Yes. There is a tremendous fortune down here. A fortune in gold. How do you know that? Trust me, I do. And when I get that cold, I will have everything I've ever dreamed of. You really are sick. Oh? Oh, that's great coming from you, the original material girl. You may be little Miss Perfect these days, but there was a time when you used every trick in the book to get your hands on the Lord Fortune. The Lord Fortune is part of my inheritance. I'm afraid you don't have that excuse. You are a whole different story. I remember when I first met you, all you ever wanted in life was just, just the love of a good man and to be able to raise your son. Yeah, and I was an idiot to believe in such fairy tale romances. I learned the hard way. And the one thing I learned was there's only one person you can depend on, and that's yourself. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. When 
to get this gold? I could be a very wealthy woman. And when that happens, no one will be able to hurt me again. Gabriel, would you please just listen to me? No, I think I've heard just about enough from you. Tina, I have to find this gold. And I'm going to find it. Alone. Gabrielle! Now come back! So Vicky called Renee last night and said that she was at the base of the mountain. What was she doing there? Yeah, it's a long story. Vicky gave us this pass of old land as a wedding present, right? We were going to put up this house, so Tina was scoping out some sites for us. I, I was going to meet her up there, but she also told Renee that I shouldn't bother because she was just going to go up for a quick look and then she was going to come right back. And again, that's the last anyone heard from her. Oh, with that snow melting up there, those roads must be treacherous. But tell me about it. I was up on that mountain all night looking for Tina. Clint's up there now with the police. Yeah, I tell you, he's not going to get any luckier than I did. But do you know where she was headed? You know, as a matter of fact, I got an idea. Uh, we had this map that we first started looking at when Vicky first gave us the land. You still have the map? Yeah, yeah, sure I do. It's upstairs. I'll be right back. like this. That, that, that sound is just about to... Oh, it's scaring me to death. Gabrielle? Gabrielle, help me! Gabrielle, where are you taking me? There is nothing around here for miles. I knew was another trick. It's no trick, Vicky. So where is Tina? She's right down there. Oh, God. I've seen this before. Okay. Right. After you. No. No, I can't. It's not that far down. Just grab a hold of the rope and you'll be fine. No. No, it's not that. I... I'm suddenly so frightened by this place. I suggest you get over it because if you want to help Tina, you better grab a hold of this rope right now.
hopeless. Gabrielle's never coming back to get me out of here. I'm probably going to die here, and I'm never going to see Court or CJ or anybody else ever again. against me. Vicki, I'm very sorry, but I don't have time to explain everything now, all right? Uh, Vicki, I'll explain it all to you on our way out of here. Oh, no. No, I, I thought the two of you would do that. You'd want to leave before I finish with my work. No, I know, and I know you promised you gave me your word, but you know, somehow, I don't believe you. I don't believe you either, Tina. No, both of you are going to have to stay here till I'm finished. That's why you took that grappling hook down, so we couldn't get out. Yes. And if either of you get any ideas of finding another way out, I now suggest you stick close to me so I can keep both eyes on you. Well, you better have real good eyesight, because we're not going anywhere with you. Oh, I strongly suggest that you do exactly as I say. Or perhaps you won't leave here at all. Roger, will you please tell me what you're doing with that rope? Well, if I'm right, we'll need it to lower ourselves down into the hole. What hole? That one. <whistles> oh, I thought this thing was sealed up forever. Did you know this thing was here? Uh, yeah, yeah. When I did some research in the area for EnviroCare, I discovered it. Roger, do you know what's down there? Yes, unfortunately. You don't think that Tina fell down this hole? That, that's not why you brought me out here, is it? Roger, what is the matter with you? That just brings back memories, Court. Memories I never thought I'd have to face again. Put it down, Gabrielle. We're not going to say anything to anybody. We're just going to leave. No, I can't let you do that. You see, if you do, everyone will find out about this place. Not now that I've come this far. So what's it going to be? Are you both going to come quietly, as I asked? Or am I going to have to use this on you? You can use that on anybody, honey. You understand me? Oh, honey, are you all right? I am now. What is going on here, Gabrielle? What made you bring Vicky and Tina down to a place like this? She's working with Michael Grand, that's why. What? Shut up, Tina! No, she's part of the conspiracy against Vicky. Gabrielle, is that true? It's none of your damn business. Yeah, well, it is now, honey. What is going on? And what is this place? Let her go, Cord. Let her go. Roger can tell us everything that we want to know. 
Vicky's right. I can explain everything. But not here. There's somewhere I need to take you. Some place where I can answer all your questions. All right, you heard me. Let's get some answers. 